Greg from Vulture here. Hey, we're gonna do tip of the week number 13, which is all going to, it's gonna be all about magnets and placement of the magnets. First thing to point out is that we ship every sensor with two different magnet strengths, depending on what you're using them for. The five pound will always have a black ring or a yellow. Uh, we have two different suppliers, so it could be black or yellow. The 11 pound, the stronger one, is, is solid and um, you'll see the uh, stainless steel color throughout. When you're using tip-ups, I typically always recommend using the 5-pound magnets. Uh, you can use the 11-pound magnet as well, which I'll get into in a little bit here. The magnet should always be placed on the sensor such that the metal casing is up. So in this case, I have the light magnet, and it gets placed like so. If you got into a situation where you needed to use the stronger magnet, you can actually place it upside down, so with the metal case down, um, and it'll act the equivalent of a lighter magnet pull. When you're tying the other end of the trigger line to the flag, you always want to put it such that it easily pulls off. So in this case, having it mounted like this, you want to have it way up towards the top of the flag. If you have it way far down over here, the problem is, is it can actually pull and it's pulling against the ribbed seats that we have on the sensor. So you don't want to do that. If you have it set up and you have it up towards the top of the flag, it will easily pull off. Another thing you can do, let's say you have extreme freezing rain, instead of actually setting the magnet in the seat area, you can actually just set it on the rim like so. The reason that's nice is there's a lot less surface area, so it pulls off extremely easy. Finally, the one thing I wanted to also point out is you don't actually have to have it such sit, sitting in the holder or sitting on the ice such that the magnet is straight up. You have the option of placing these at any given orientation in the holder or on the ice. If it aids in letting freezing rain fall through the weep holes of the magnet seat, or if it just allows for a better pull depending on what you're using them for. If you're using them for uh, rattle reels, tip downs, tip-ups, trapping, whatever. That's it for this week's tip of the week. Let us know if you have any questions. Have a good day.